Good morning. It is the 19th of July, the seventh Sunday of Pentecost. And Deacon Chaplin, who usually holds the camera and does this for me, has had some car problem this morning. So we will have her here and me disembodied and welcome you, family of St. Francis, friends of St. Francis, and all who may in fact be watching this. Come on in to this place this marvelous St. Francis place. There are those people who silly say, the church is more than a building. Well, of course, but it is at least a building, a sacred place of candles and holy water, of sounds and tapestries. Some of you will recognize this tapestry from a postcard that Deacon Chaplin sent out this past week. When Nancy comes back, we'll have her tell the detailed story of this depiction of St. Francis. Notice, please, the glorious windows and know that this place, even though at the moment no one body is here, other than, of course, me taking this video, if you will. Nonetheless, there are echoes and memories on about here. Candles lit for our deacons. Karen House, who's been hospitalized with pneumonia, who's doing much better and soon to be out. And Deacon Chapman, whose car tires let her down this morning but will be, of course, with us in person next week. A place here that we call sacred. Even with no one in the room, there are memories and sounds that echo paintings and pictures. This a depiction of communion, Beth Sutton, and family put this in for Earl Sutton and other names even before they did the thing. I'm not sure you can even see that. In memory of Perry Lee Baggett and George Wilbur McDermott. Don't know them, never met them, but somehow in some way, their spirit is here in this building, in this place. And the time will come for some in a matter of hours, for others in days or months, when indeed we can be here also in body, just as the Lord Jesus himself would be here in bread and wine. So in this sacred place, this Sunday, know that you are prayed for and are really, in a sense, here. Amen.